Hello everybody, B.L. Carter here, coming back with another video in light of uh, Father's Day. Just wanted to talk about the term gatekeepers. There's been a lot of talk about gatekeepers from um, the spiritual perspective, also from the natural perspective in regards to race relations. Um, but I wanted to talk about it from a more local perspective. Uh, one that hits home, hits home with all of us, if you will. Um, now let's talk, what, what's a gatekeeper? A gatekeeper defined by, I don't know, one of those online dictionaries, is a person or thing that controls access to something. Or it could also be a person or attendant that is hired or employed to control um, access or to control who goes through um something, a gate, if you will. So let's apply that. And the way in which I want to apply it in honor of it being Father's Day is to the men, to the fathers. Fathers, you are gatekeepers as well. Gatekeepers don't have to be some spiritual something or some high upper echelon person uh, in society. You are gatekeepers. Every single one of you fathers or husbands is a gatekeeper. Husbands, you're gatekeepers into the home. You are there to not just build life with, but also to provide and protect. Those are your two primary duties. So you have a duty when someone knocks on your door to be the one to answer the door. And if anything is negative trying to come in that house, they're supposed to have to come through you in order to get inside. So you are their gatekeeper. You are the strong man that has to be bound before the spoils or the riches or the booty, if you will, inside can be accessed. So you are a gatekeeper, husbands. Fathers, same thing. But yours goes a little stronger. Um, fathers, because you are the gatekeeper not only to the household, if you're in the home, but you're the gatekeeper to your child, to your child's life. Uh, if you are on point, then you know what your child's been exposed to, you know who your child's being exposed to, you know what they're learning, etc. Whether it's right or wrong, I'm not talking about whether the education is um, right or wrong or truth or not. The fact that the father is aware of these things and making sure he's in the mix of what's going on makes him a gatekeeper on point, doing his duty. Um, fathers, when you walk away from your children, whether you do it before they're born, after they're born, later in life, whenever you do, you walked away from your duty as gatekeeper. Your seed connecting with her egg automatically made you a gatekeeper over that child. And so you have a duty. And that duty is to protect that child forever. Now, yeah. When they grow up and you got to let them learn some things on their own and catch a couple hard knocks here and there, that's understandable. But you still have a duty to protect that child. You still have a duty to protect them physically, socially, psychologically, spiritually, financially, in every way. Nothing should be able to get to your child until it comes through you. And um, in that regard, and I've already done a Happy Father's Day video, but in that regard, I say Happy Father's Day or thank you or job well done to those gatekeeper fathers and husbands who are on point with their duties, who are making sure they are restricting access um, to their children. They're restricting uh, someone down the street who may not be a good influence over their children. Um or in their home, if you will. You have your kids, they 12, 13, that early age where they want to have a lot of friends and stuff like that. And there's some kid down the street who you just know is trouble. Now, will they probably try to sneak around and spend time with that kid outside your presence? Yes. But as gatekeeper, it is your duty to say, no, that young man is not welcome in my home. He does X, Y, Z. We don't want you influenced by that. He is not welcome. You are still doing your duty. So um, we appreciate you for that, and we honor you for that. That being the case, um, I just wanted to kind of make that distinction there. 
um, because again, sometimes we think of gatekeepers on the spiritual side or on the, the, the societal level, but we don't look at it on the very local, basic day-to-day -day level in our homes um, with our children. And just a reminder as well, before I get out of here, gatekeepers, fathers, when you step off your game, you open your child up to anything and everything. That's the biological fathers, and then if, let's say, someone, if you adopt a child or you step in as stepdad and you take on that role, then you still have that duty as well to do everything as if that child was yours biologically and protect them from any harm at all. And some things, no, you can't protect them from, but you can make them aware that the harm is, is, is out there so that they can make those right decisions when they're outside of your presence. That's being part of the gatekeeper as well. So, again, take care, be, be more, we won't say blessed, be more, and uh, continue doing you. If you're on point in your duties as gatekeeper, good job, guys. If you're slacking a little bit, we're going to have to step it up. We're going to need y'all to step it up. And um, remember that your child, their future, their life, the quality of life, the things in which they're able to accomplish are all connected to your performance as a gatekeeper or your effectiveness as a gatekeeper. 